Hello everybody and welcome to yet another new video to a brand new series. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. And this is one I've been very excited for because I've waited so long for this and I was so hyped up for it since the first trailer for it dropped. But as I do with my Yakuza slash my Like a Dragon series, I'm going to be doing each video based on each chapter as the game progresses. Also, before we get into the video, I just want to say if I sound a bit different or I sound a bit quieter, it's because I've somewhat sorted out the gain on the back of my microphone. I got kind of annoyed at hearing my own spit every time I edited. You never realise how many bad speaking habits you have until you actually hear yourself back on a recording. It's annoying. But let's just jump into the video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want. And I hope you enjoy. Remember to go and grab the saltiest snacks you can find. Sit down and relax. Uh, choose text language English. Audio language Japanese, of course. New Game Plus has been added. I've not even started the game yet. And already it's like, yeah, you've unlocked New Game Plus. It's always nice to start up a new series. But like, I'm going to leave Persona 4 Golden for a bit just to focus on this. Maybe Persona 3 Reload when it comes out next week as well. Mind the road now. There are dogs on the loose around here. Why, why is it in English? I'll put this in Japanese. There's a guy on the road. What happened? Someone's out there. Oh well, that's got you quickly. So uh, I wonder why this guy's killing these people. He did all that for a necklace. What even is it? Like, it must be of, of importance, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna kill him. You have outplayed your usefulness, my friend. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a weird transition, go into a leaf and then there's just a random ant. This is, this, this is someone's work desk, but like, obviously they don't take care of it if it's infested with ants, and the keyboard looks really dirty. Oh, this is Hello Work. Okay, okay, yeah, so that must have been Hawaii in the beginning then. Wait, Ichiban's working for Hello Work now. We appreciate your patience. Okay, I think I've seen enough Sasaki-san. My name's Kasuga, and I'll be helping you out today. Real good to meet you. Wait, who's using, who was doing it before? It was Rainer, wasn't it? Have, has Ichiban just taken Rainer's job? So, what kind of work you got for me, Katsuka Katsan? It says here you work for Moroe Industries. To my knowledge, Moroe Industries is the front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. All their employees are Yakuza. It also says here you are let go from your position there. What did, wait, how'd you get let go of a position where you're run by Yakuza? It says because their business shut down after the Hiwatashi Clan disbanded last month, is that correct? Okay, that makes more sense then. Taking into account that you work for Moroe Industries and the fact that you've got quite an intricate tattoo, yeah, that's not going to get you many jobs. Can I assume that you're an ex-Yakuza who recently got out of the trade? Listen, buddy. What I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. I, I don't think many employers will hire an ex-Yakuza, let's, let's be real here. I mean, you got lucky you got hired here. So he's working here just to get ex-Yakuza a new leash on life, similar to what he got given. I mean, I, I, I dig that. That's, that's, that's a good little thing he's got going. I don't know why, but like, he kind of reminds me of Majima, because like, he looks very similar to Yakuza Zero and Majima. He's got like the hair and the ponytail and the black suit. This is basically Majima, Yakuza Zero. You've received new Sujimon from the Heroes Party suit. Set. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the um expensive edition. <laughs> Look at this, I like this. Everyone's calling me the hero of Yokohama. I like it. See, this is this is the, the respect I deserve. Come back soon, okay? I've not even been there in the first place. Yeah, I like this. I think I'll just uh take the slow walk and just appreciate everybody's nice words. Started from the bottom getting shot, made my way up from being homeless, and look at me now, the hero, loving it. Get out of my way. Something I can help you with, Sazaki san. You saw me, huh? Should have guessed. I just want to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Oh, bribery. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. You're desperate now. I mean, I, I take the money. Look, look, 50k. I mean, I, I'm desperate for money. I've just spent all my money on the vending machine. Give me the money. Take the money. You got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Wait, what do you mean? You messing with me again? What time do you want more? How much I gotta get to get a job? <laughs> Quite ironic that he's giving him everything to get a job that he wants just to get money. After the Tojo and Obi dissolved, it's been every man for himself, scrambling for scraps to survive. You think he could slip a guy some cash and that's that? I mean, yeah, this isn't the Yakuza world anymore. I love how quickly Ichiban has adapted to this, because obviously this was his life for a long time. After he got out of prison, everything just crumbled, and he's adapted very quickly to this. Why is it saying my money? Like, it's, it's just on the floor. Just pick the damn thing up. He's obviously got his um, mind in control because now he's not transforming. Is it really going to be wise having, you know, someone like me fighting in the middle of a street? Oh, well, whatever. Let's beat him up. 
Good combo. Quickly select attack before a downed enemy gets a chance to get up. Wait, really? So it's not turn-based anymore. It's literally just as fast as you can attack. Oh, never mind. It is still turn-based. Mad skills. Select skills to unleash a powerful ability in exchange for MP. Right, let's see what skills I've got. Tenacious Fist. The old favourite of a once young Yakuza. Right, he's, it's, it's good that he's still got his old quietly skills then. There we go, look at that, nice. Press circle the moment your attacks perform perfect guard, decreasing the damage. Do you know what, that's something that I always forget about with this game now. And it's uh, something that I still need practice with. The other thing is, if I knew I was going to have to fight someone immediately, I would have just drunk my Kiwami drink, and I probably would have been level 3. Oh god, look at that face. <laughs> did, I, did I level up yet? Am I doing it? Oh look, there goes your money, look at that. You wasted 50k. Wait, is he actually gonna... <laughs> Why am I getting so dramatic getting 50k out of a river? I get you want to help this guy, like, you know, but... There's other ways of doing it. The screaming didn't precisely help. Oh, it reeks. What, what do you think, man? This is waste. Oh god, all this for... Oh no, really? People are watching this like, oh, there goes the hero in the, in, in the drain. Oh, Jesus. Is that a used condom? I mean, good for him. He actually got the whole 50k back, but... He stinks, and he's wearing a good suit. I don't think you're gonna want that money anymore, man. Not when, not when that's been in there. But the rumors even true? I, you saw for yourself what he just did. No, that's probably true. I am helping those who help the yakas who left the yakas to find work. Also, as for that fifty grand, I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait, then that means it doesn't mean that I'm gonna help you with it. It wasn't for the job. It was just to get him a phone plan. It was just paying me back. The job I got him was at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. This, this has got to be Namba because Namba used to be a nurse. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic, back when people were hoarding it. This isn't a COVID reference, is it? <laughs> Whenever some crooks try to profit online, yeah, this is a COVID reference. Oh no, are we really doing that? So basically what each of us are saying here is that if this guy here wants to get a job, he's going to have to get him a phone plan or something like he did with the other dude. So he is definitely trying to help him. It's just the guy's getting the wrong idea and maybe... Ichiban probably could have explained it a bit better, I don't know. Wait, is this... Wait, what the hell? He cleaned up so nicely. What the hell happened to this guy? He's like a whole new person. Like, are you not going to question this? Like, like he's he's legit just a different person entirely. Sasaki-san, may I inquire about your criminal record? Well, it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I wouldn't steal... I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on, so long as it was small enough. I had a buddy who fenced to stuff on the black market, so I just do sell it to him. On that note, don't worry. I have just a job for a man of your skill set. <laughs> How would you like to be a thief? Shoplifting. <laughs> what? I was only joking about the theft job. Wait, wh wh why is he actually going shoplifting? What's going on here? Where did the... It, it did not look like... It looked like he had three hands for a second. What the hell's going on? He's obviously a master at his craft, but why are we going shoplifting instead of actually getting him a job? Is this going to be one of those two men in a suit situation? Like, like two little people in a suit? Oh, she's an accomplice of his. Okay, fair enough. How are you going to do this one, though? Because there's, like, cameras everywhere in this place. I... <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah, whatever works. We got everything you asked for. Along with a couple of extras for good measure. Wait, Adachi? What? Why is Adachi into shoplifting now? <laughs> okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms. Of course, you know, you need those. Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots. What with uh, how they were set up. Of course, it's been ages since anybody's had to rely on the fake harm routine. Okay, well, <laughs> now it explains why he had three hands. Well, Adachi san, how's Sasaki working out? You ask me? He's a real pro. I already can't afford to lose him. Thanks for giving me a chance. I've got a lot to learn, but I'll do my best. I don't know if you have got anything to learn after that experience. Hmm? Someone's texting me? Oh, it's Namba. Remember, we're meeting at Survive tonight. Don't be late. I wonder how Namba's doing. Is he still homeless? No, this looks like trouble. Oh, please stop. Ah, uh, what'd you say? You better speak up if you want to be heard, eh? Huh? Uh, what are you looking at? A disappointment. The hell are you? How have you not heard? I'm the hero of Yokohama. When selecting the commands, you can use L to move the ring beneath your feet, positioning to relative enemies to take a big hit. Try getting close to the bicycle and see what happens. Okay. So, here? A triangular icon will appear above a usable object. Selecting attack will let you pick it up and wield it as a weapon. Okay, so that's how we use um, items around town when we're doing turn based. Makes sense. I've taken down two with one go. Nice job, me. Oh no, never mind, he was just stunned. I thought I killed him. Select attack and approach the enemy until the target indicator changes and proximity bonus is displayed. You receive small damage boost when striking up close. Oh. 
Okay, so if they got me in a corner or something, I can do more damage. I'm basically like a rat, in other words. I mean, I would like to, but like, th there's a bike here. I mean, like, if, I, if I get a bike now, I can kill them both. Let's go for it. How is he still alive after all of that? Seriously. <laughs> Poetry in motion. Attacks can sometimes launch enemies backwards and they take more damage when colliding with walls, objects, or even their friends. Skills with the knockback ability do this too. That's evil. The thing is, though, he's got no one to knock back on, so it's just me finishing him off at this point. So, what do you think? Uh, just let him go. Better to keep the cops out of this. Ready? What's wrong with you people? Uh, good old survive bar. You come here straight from work. Okay, number obviously does have a job now. Medical equipment inspector. Oh, he got his... I mean, he was a nurse before, so for him to get the job as an equipment inspector, it's pretty good promotion. Co-owner of the club Silky Queen. She was just, um... What was she? She was, she was just a bartender there before, wasn't she? Now she's co-owner. That's a good improvement. Oh, Kashiwagi, I noticed that your back's feeling better. I didn't get to see you last time. I think so, I was such an eh? Have she gone on a date yet? Wait, I mean, <laughs> after what I did in the last game, I don't think she'll ever want to date me again. I went on a date with all five women in the last game, and she sort of hit me for it. That's a go. You got a thing for Sachan, right? I mean, I had a thing for like four other girls as well, but there you go. The important thing is, if you're going to make a move, now's the time. I can't exactly do anything with YouTube watching. I think it'll be alright. Oh well, guess I should go to. Maybe you should be a gentleman and walk her own. He's, he's really just going to let her walk away like that. Dude, and, oh man, you're a fool. Oh no, here we go, here we go. No, it's nothing. Seriously? You're a coward. <laughs> just say it already, man. Do you maybe want to hang out sometime? <laughs> oh no, she's laughing. We said we'd do it at a club, remember? I... No, he doesn't mean like that. I mean us. You know, together. I mean, I, I know that I was seeing five other women at the same time as you before, but I'm a changed man now, I swear. And she's walking off. <laughs> I think I ruined it. They say the worst thing that she can say is no. She said nothing and just walked off. That's worse. And now we're gonna do what every respectable grown man does in this situation and cry in the street. Incoming call from Sachan. Sorry. That was so sudden I panicked. I don't want to see you ever again because of that. By the way, I'm free next Saturday. Okay, we're in there. You can get up and stop crying on the street now. Sorry. You wait long? Oh god, she's gonna take one look at me and go, what the hell are you wearing? Look at you though. You really pulled out all the stuff for today. Yeah, see? I knew it. If I went with Nama's idea, she would have looked at me and said, Ah, oh, what happened to all your money? I think you look nice. There we go. See, she likes it. I made the right choices. Although, I feel like she probably would have said that if I'd picked Nama's options as well, but... I don't know. Wearing a suit feels more Ichiban. I'm terribly sorry. Please come again soon. Uh... So, there's nowhere for us to go. You didn't make any reservations or prepare in advance. Seriously? Oh, it's lunchtime, so I guess it's busy everywhere. Let's try somewhere else. Is there anywhere that you'd want to go? Please don't be someone that says, I don't mind anywhere. It's not a place to eat. Where, where do you want me to go, then? Where? Where, where does she want me to go? Hot oh! Oh! Okay, just skip the formalities and go straight into the bedroom. He's like, no way, I'm not ready for this. I prepared for a date, not for what comes after. But it's still light out and stuff. Oh, you're so innocent, it's so funny. I could really use it right now. Dude, she is practically offering it to you on a platter, just take it. I'm a first time dater, not some loose cannon, Mr. Libido. No, let's, let's not bring him back into the game. What would Namba or Adachi do at a time like this? I mean, like, she wants it, let's, let's play it cool. Like, let's, let's go for it. She's jumping straight into a hotel and is like wholesome. Oh, Mate, you could have just had yourself a bit, are you for real? Do you uh, do this kind of thing often? <laughs> Not the thing you want to ask! <laughs> so a hotel's probably a little fast, huh? <laughs> oh no. It's it's out the window, you, you've ruined it. What? A hotel? <laughs> Where did you get that idea? Where was she pointing at? I could use a cigarette. Oops. Sure, let's smoke. Heck, <laughs> maybe I'll have a whole pack. He's gonna need it after that, even I got the wrong interpretation. Oh, this looks like trouble. No, wait, wait. Who is it? She knows them. I thought they were just going to cause trouble because we're out on a date. The one leading them? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. He's the president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. Oh, and he's going to see her out with me and he's going to think that he's not getting anything that he's paying for. He'd wait for me at the back door. Oh no, this guy's a creep. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to sort this out, aren't we? So is Psycho going to help me fight? Yeah, it looks like she is. She's got her, her bag ready. Working as a team, your allies position themselves in a variety of strategic possibilities, like knockback chains allowing them to follow up after an enemy is knocked into their direction and back attacks against enemies who have their attention divided. Nice. Uh, I'm not strong enough to lift up the bike. That's that's annoying. All right, let's just lift up the bin instead then. Not bad. Full health bar down. Is this a portable stove? Did that just come out of the bin? I mean, 
Yeah, let's use it on him. Let's burn him. Okay, or we'll, we'll just hit him with it. Why are there so many weapons on the floor? What's this? This is an injection, isn't it? Oh no, he's just gonna throw a bottle at him. <laughs> I thought that was a needle for some reason. Don't get him, Ichiban. Nice. Well, what did you think of your first date with me? We got to beat up some guys. I actually wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I had fun. I mean it, Ichiban. <laughs> yeah, nothing says fun like beating up guys on the first date. Why does it look so sad now? What's going on? So, like, I know I used to be in the Yakuza, and even though I quit, I'm still barely making ends meet. Where's this coming from? I was never really one to hit the books. But either way, I got a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. Physically, I'm built pretty solid. I mean, maybe Kiyo-san could knock me out cold. I don't- I- yes, definitely. I guess I'm saying I don't have too many strong points. But when it comes to you, I'd give everything I have just to make you happy. Ah, where did this come from? So yeah. Sachan, were you? He's not gonna, like, ask her to marry. Will you marry me? What? I was drinking! It's been one day. She's, she's gonna walk off and run away and call him again and be like, yes, I will. I swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, I will always be there for you. But just give her a chance to think. Like, it's been day one and already he's like, okay, well, he wants to marry me. I just want to get out of here now. I hope you look after your dad. And if anything at, at all happens with Nanaha, I'll be right there. I'm serious, you won't even have to work. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. <laughs> I'm planning our 10 year future in a step by step plan, but only if you start with marrying me. Sachan, I, I know I kind of went a bit off the rail there. I'm sorry. Thanks for today, Ichiban. I really did have fun. Okay, well, she's never going to want to see you again. Did I say something wrong? I, I don't know, did you? Need to get home. I'll play tomorrow, you know. You're probably in the same boat, right? So yeah, let's keep at it. Uh, yeah. She's never gonna want to see you again. Oh, Kasuga Khan. Good morning. I wanted to help some people out about that. Listen, can we talk for a second? Oh, I'm not being sacked. No, you can't tell me I've been fired. What? My contract's been terminated. Why? What did I do? But you know, crazy timing. Remember how I was supposed to renew it at the end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Was there a problem with my quality of work? Oh, no, 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 no. Kasuka-kun, you've done an outstanding job. So why is it being terminated? Apparently, the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've got no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. So get rid of one of the lower ranks and keep me. Well, let me just say thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. For what it's worth, I'm sure to finish strong. And no, we'd actually like it if if today would be your last day. Oh, what's going on, man? Why is everything just falling apart in life? Hmm. Hey, that's him, right? Oh, God, what do they want? That's about that time. Welcome home, Kasuga-san. Do I know these people? We just wanted to do a little bit of interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. What, why? What, what's going on? Why is everything just falling apart and why are these guys after me? You take bribes from former Yakuza and then ship them off to shady jobs all over town. Oh, maybe that's why I lost my job now. Whoops. Come on, the secret's out. I don't want to hook up for the Yakuza. What? I told you that. You can't just believe everything you hear, you know. Oh, really? You're gonna do the fake fool thing? Oh, that's pathetic, dude. You see that? He's out of control. That, the real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose. They may call him the hero of Yokohama. Deep down, he's just another Yakuza. A Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Honor and duty in my freshly bruised backside. He wants to take a million off of me to stop that video from going online, seriously? Like, like how do you even know if it's gonna go viral or not? Hey, show him the vid. What's up, people? Tataro channel coming at ya. What the hell? Why is it a VTuber? Let's get right into it. I present you with the prep of the day. This man here is Ichiban Kasuga. Although some might call him a criminal, four years ago he did help this band two major Yakuza factions, some even go as far as calling the hero of Yokohama. Now this is exclusive footage that was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile the man sitting across from him is yet another ex Yakuza. Don't tell me, Sasaki. This happened like a year ago. Wait, so who's recording this then? And having received his instructions at Hello Work, where does this mystery man go next? He goes shoplifting, yeah, that's right. A mini mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique, using a fake hand to snag goods right off the shelves. Who was capturing this? Seriously. And in the end, it seems Kasuga buys the goods from a personal FIFA discount. Oh, they got a Dachi on camera as well. In this day alone, 2 million yen worth of products was pilfered, and it only cost Kasuga a paltry 20 grand. Holy crap. If this is the hero of Yokohama, I'd sure hate to see the villain. Which one of you made this bullcrap? Don't you hear? It's on the Tatara channel. 
She's pretty much a god among the gods. And with 5 million subscribers at that. This is why Hello World cut me loose. It's gotta be. Anyway, we got you on video too. So you're gonna buy it off of us or not? And buy crap. I haven't done a damn thing wrong. Then I guess we got no choice. We're we'll just sending this guy home in a stretcher. Then it's on to the next target. Seriously, this is what you guys do for fun? You guys need a job. You're up, Mr. Bodyguard. Oh god, what's he got? This guy's your bodyguard? <laughs> Wait, I'm fighting all of them? Seriously? I thought the ones in the back wanted to record me fighting the Street Fighter. Okay, whatever. You all want to go down, I'll take you all down. I'm not too sure how I feel about this ring. Like, it's really obstructing where I can move. I'm trying to set up so that I can, you know, try and knock them into each other. Oh, really? Wait, I thought I was going for the one in front. Oh, that's annoying. Nice, double perfect, God. Right, who's the guy that's fighting next? You, you're next. Right, you're going to be my next target. This one should finish him off. Easy, mate. Nice, too far. Like it. I've just realised that the flipping YouTuber is level 5. Oh, God, I should have taken him out first. One, two, crap, what's this? Okay, I'm glad I perfect guarded that. Well done, me. Let's go for Rock Swing. That's going to use up all of my MP, though. That's the problem. I... Uh, mm, come on, come on, get right down. I was going to say, it was not big damage, but at least I got a bit of healing from that. Holy Jesus, okay. Should I take this time to heal up because that was a lot of damage? Yeah, I'll just heal up just in case. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage. If I don't perfect guard, then he's going to have me on the floor. Nice. we got a weapon here. Yeah, yeah, let's use the plant. I mean, this is probably going to go viral even more because now I'm using weapon assault or whatever. And I'm making up the cone. Oh, Jesus. You had no idea what you was in for, did you? <laughs> Maybe you should, like, grab all of their phones and, I don't know, delete the videos and smash their phones. I mean, I know they know where you live now, but at least you proved not to be messed around with. As always, Tataro Channel is on the case, ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world. Why are you doing this? Right, so uh, is the main villain of this game going to be a YouTuber? Wait, they've really got their old outfits back. Wait, is he homeless again? Have you by any chance gone past Hello Work recently? I mean, we were there last month, but not recently. Lately, our old friend from the Seryu clan has been acting mighty suspicious. Seryu clan? Wait, who from the Seryu clan? I can't remember. Think back a bit. Remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Yeah, that makes sense, given how the clan set up. I don't remember this guy. It's been a while since I played like a dragon. So here's fit where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. And when I was talking 10 or 20 guys here, I mean the Seiryu clan has been boosting their numbers in a big way, and neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. With Chairman Hoshino dead and Takabe in the slammer. Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something with all their bosses out of commission. Apparently Sasuke is one of the two. He's joined the Seiryu clan too. It's been a month and already he's decided to go, wow, look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. I can't stand on what Sasuke could drag back into the Yakuza. After all, he made the decision to earn his life back. So I'm doing it with my own eyes. I want to help him. However I can. You're heading to the Seiryu clan HQ, right? Count us in. Wait, but can you guys still fight after all these years? Here, huh? No, if you're gonna do that, you'll need a weapon. Yeah, my weapon's kind of hanged up right now. He's using it to hang up his clothes, really? Actually, can we hold up a sec? What for? You think he's gonna go out dressed like that? Yeah, knew as much. Whoa, what's going on? Is there a hurricane happening? He even got the... <laughs> How did you manage to get the hair back like that? Oh yeah, the squad. Really? Gotta hand it to you. This suit was definitely the way to go. Pretty crazy, huh? The three of us back in action like this. Alright, it's go time. Number, Adachi san. We proved ourselves as heroes of Yokohama once already, and no one's gonna stop us from doing it all again. See, the other thing is, it's like, all my good weapons, they're on the other game. Oh my god, we look, <laughs> we look like idiots. <laughs> if your folks are done laughing around, how about you fork over your money? Uh, you realize that we're, we're armed to the teeth, right? You're telling me the three of you don't have a single yell on you. You're telling me the three of you don't have a single yell on you. What do you think, hero? Then I'm putting that holy sword of yours to work on some monsters. <laughs> Even numbers getting involved in it, I like it. Are these guys going to transform? Yeah, there we go. It feels just like old times, because they transformed into a big fat guy like this the first time around. But did these guys just transform? No, we're not going back through this dialogue again. All right, let's see. Uh, Pyro Belch. I mean... It feels like a downgrade, because last time he started off, he also had bad breath, which lowered their defense. I kind of wish he still had that, to be honest. That's it, burn him alive, burn him alive. He didn't even leave a burn. You serious? Oh, that's that's not good. I think it's best that we take out the big guy first. I think it does more damage. Nice. Slick turn, a Dutchy turn in his badge, but not his megaphone. Higher likelihood of making enemies rage with a chance to lower their attack. Ready? Okay, cool. 
I mean, I don't really need that at the moment. Oh, nice. How is he still alive, though? I've, I've stunned them both, so I mean, Zonga's come out of this. Go on, finish him off. Yes, good man number. I don't really see the point of picking up a sign when you've got a spiked baseball bat, but sure, why not? <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. This should be the big finish, because I've got him against the wall. There we go, nice. Actually, before we do that, our hero uh, might be sword in hand ready to face the world, but I was thinking we could use a little something, too. What? Yeah, there's a, a weapon shop right in front of us, because I remember they sold a lot of um, provocative items to use. The thing is, though, I don't, I don't think I have uh, any any money. I'm, I may or may not have spent all my money. A Dutch is going to be hitting people with his jumbo sausage. Giggity. Classic male underwear, unstained as of yet. I should hope not. I'll buy the jumbo sausage for a Dutchie. You'll enjoy that, I'm sure. I'll buy the massive massage machine while I'm here as well. <laughs> Why not? Right, I can only afford one more thing, and that's a hoodie. What the hell? Wait. When did they have the time to build oh. a hobo castle? Oh, they're talking about the pandemic again. Seriously, they did this during COVID. Say, uh, Chief, what's all this about? Like I said, you're under the back door. This is it. Jump in. Wait, no, is he actually being serious? Have I actually got to go down the sewage area? Oh, oh God, we're actually going to go for it. <laughs> the Chief's probably laughing like, oh, I can't believe they fell for that. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Oh, look at that. We can actually swim on this game. <laughs> cool. Oh, this, this, this is not sanitary. This, this is disgusting. We wonder why a psycho didn't want to marry us. I, I mean, I can't imagine why. Oh, I'm really just found some onigiri down here. Like, the game's really like, oh, yeah, freshly packaged onigiri. Eat it whenever you feel like it. And a worn out TV. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Just give me everything while I'm down here. Freshly packed food, drinks, I want the lot. Half eaten bento. There we go. We've just nicked someone's food. Not to worry, guys. I'm here to give you some nice pleasure with a bit of pain. Oh, Battle Bomb's got a bit of defense behind him, it seems. So do they still have um, enemy elemental weaknesses? Because numbers fire should definitely do some damage to these guys. They're only homeless people, for Christ's sake. They're quite strong for homeless guys as well. Oh, look at the follower. Very nice. He's attacking again. Really? How fast is this guy? There we go. Nice. Perfect. Took a lot of damage out of that, though. I need to really work on my perfect guards. There's only one dude waiting here. He's going to be... He's going to be a hard fight, isn't he? Because he's there by Jack Jones. Oh, God. He's got a big concrete sledgehammer. Wait. I don't, what? Pseudo trash. Oh, no. I remember these guys. Ah, he's weak to fire. Yes, they still kept in all the elemental weaknesses. Perfect. Doesn't, like, it doesn't leave a burn, though. That's what's really weird. Big damage. He's down. Easy. Right, what's this monkey flip? Damage is an enemy with a particularly unorthodox method of de-escalation. It doesn't... What? I can't flip over a bloke in a bag. Really? Fine, I'll just hit him with a bin, then. Oh, God, we're, <laughs> we're showing no mercy on this guy with the bins. Unhinged in don't... What? He loses MP. Really? You did that just to lose MP? I hate you for that. Like, I need my MP. What? What the hell? It's a metapod. <laughs> Squirmy worm. <laughs> it's literally just a guy that looks like a metapod. Let's burn him. Yeah. <laughs> you use that to keep you warm, but it does the warm that is killing you. Can I topsy turn this one over? No, I can't. What is it about guys in sleeping bags and bin bags that I can't turn over? Gumshot. What the? He spits out his gum. Uh, uh, that's disgusting. A agility and attack lowered. Finish him off, finish him off. That, that landed right in front of number and he did nothing about it. One idiot. Right, let's try this grand liner. Like, it's, it's just do it when they're like in a line. So if I do it to him, would that work out and hit the guy behind him? It kind of did. Kind of good attack, actually. It paralyzed him. I like that attack. All right, now we can flip him over. Finally, we get to use my tag. Oh, that was nice. Get him before he goes up. Yes, good man. Whoa, big damage. Finish him off. Yes. Perfect. For some reason, there's not that many people around in the base, and all of the areas that I can't go are blocked off by bin bags. Not very organized and clean in here, are they? Would have thought there would have been more guys and, I don't know, a more presentable office. Okay, maybe I spoke a bit too soon, because look at the size of this guy. Let's use another grand line and see how many of these we can hit in one go. Quite a lot of them. Nice. That's a good attack for when they're all closed up together. But that, that knocking people into other enemies is like really powerful for no reason. But I guess I'm only getting that much power because it's only the early game. That's probably going to get really weak by the time I get to like chapter five. I miss when that used to hit everybody, but I guess the raw power of that comes from me hitting one guy into another, like it just did then. 
Like, I swear on Like a Dragon, it used to hit in a radius in front of you, but now it only hits the one guy, unless I need to up upgrade it or something. I mean, it says to go up, but like, why don't we go down first and see if there's anything down here? Aside from falling down the stairs. I know I'm low on MP at the moment, but I don't want to use any of my MP items just in case there's going to be a healing spot upstairs. Like, I, I want to make sure that I clear out the base first and get to where I need to go before I start using any items. I get MP back every time I hit people anyway, so I mean, there's not really much to worry about, even if it's only a little amount. Oh, nice. <laughs> Go on, pick up the chair. Try, try and get two of them if you can. Good, good. One more hit. Nice. I like this picking up the items thing. Like, like, now that you've got the ring around you, it makes it so much easier to actually navigate around and pick up items. It's, it, this will make the fights a lot more easier. There's another one down. On to the last guy, mate. You ain't got no friends left. Nice job, Adachi. I think we should all level up our jobs now. My MP and, and defense went up by one whole point. Wow, you really shouldn't. Have. Ah, here we go. Look, healing station. See, this is why I don't want to use none of my stuff. You think you could just barge in here? Nobody sneaks into our base and gets away with it. You guys are dead. Just the one guy, but I should be worried for that big health bar at the top there. The further away your target, the harder to hit, really. Okay, well, he's a bit far away there. Let's see if this one works out. Yeah, it's not going to do as much damage. He's, he's probably because he's guarding. Right, he says we can't knock him down because of the guard, but let's see how you do against fire. Oh, okay, he, he can guard against flames as well. That's not good. Attacking an enemy who's guarding will only do half damage. However, you can use grapple skills to break through the defenses. He's actually got a grapple skill, actually, the monkey flip ability. There you go, that should have broke his guard. All right, now, let's see how we do a bat breaker. You ain't going to be guarding against this buddy boy. Nice, look at that, regular damage again. Get him while he's down. Oh, look, he's halfway down, yeah, he's gonna start getting serious now. Ah, he's bringing friends in. Wow, what a coward. <laughs> Just the way he dodged that, amazing. Nice. There's so many guys, I've got to fight all, all in here now. I want to try and get rid of the boss, I mean, because I don't trust how much damage he's gonna be doing to me. Might as well use the pyro as well, since he's here with it. Another one down. This game is great, man. I'm loving the skill of the abilities on this. If I'm lucky, I should be able to flip him into the guy behind me. Yeah, look at that. That was calculated. Nice guard. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Stop all going for a duchy, please. Pick up the table and go for him. He seems to be doing quite a bit of damage as well. That's because he's a haymaker. I don't want any of that near me. Why are you all going for a duchy? Leave him alone. Bravado. What's this do? Oh, is he increasing damage? Crap. We better get rid of that now. He's got a big attack coming. Yeah, Number, I need you to do a lot of big damage. Crit if you have to. I don't I don't think you can on this one, but just kill him. Good man, Number. Well done. Oh god, the Dutchie's just about had it. His health is down. Good finish, well done. This is the chairman's office, right? I, I mean, you've been here before, surely you should know that. Guys, could you please hold on? I'm playing Candy Crush. My apologies. I appreciate you for waiting. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I'm Ebina, the clan captain. He seems well respectable. Pleased to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga san. Anyway, you being a son. The reason we came here, yes, yeah, I'm aware. It's about Sasuke san, isn't it? It's about Sasuke san, isn't it? After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some of our men were probably ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encouraged them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex Yakuza and the outside world. Yeah, and that's probably like getting back into the real world or getting a job. We bought the warehouse the Leo Man had been using for some time, using some time ago. Here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Wait, what, what kind of. It's all safes. What, what the hell have you got inside here? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things no one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we receive evidence of President's adultery or illicit money transfer records. Oh, mate, where's Hillary Clinton's ones? As for our part, we secretly store these con uh, controversial trinkets for safekeeping. As should the client request it, we'll dispose of said trinkets without hesitation. This one in this box here is Jeffrey Epstein's list. Oh, look, here he is. Sorry about this. To be honest, I came here intending to join the Serio clan from the start, but Ibina said I could stay a civilian. I mean, it's still good for him, don't get me wrong. I kind of wish it didn't have to go this way, though. Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. This is where the chapter's gonna end, guaranteed. I feel like I should remember who this guy is, but I don't remember him. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, yeah, him. He, he was the original captain for the Seryu clan, wasn't he? Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Captain Sawashiro, he wasn't the Seryu clan, he was the Tojo clan. That's right, he was his old Tojo captain. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. But well, it seems chapter 2 is called Paradise Hawaiian Style, so we'll go and pick that up next time. So anyway, if anybody did enjoy this first video for Infinite Wealth, I really hope you'll leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you want. And I will see you again for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.